In this video, I'm gonna teach you all about the C chord. It can be a challenging chord, but there are some things you can do to make it a little easier on yourself. First, I'm gonna teach you how to play the full C. Then I'm gonna get into some tips and tricks on how to make the full chord come out because it can be challenging. And then next, I'm gonna give you an alternative to play. It's a little bit easier until you can get the full chord out. Here's what the C chord looks like in a chord chart. You have three fingers. We have finger number one, two, and three that we're using. Those numbers that are on the fretboard on the screen are the finger numbers you are using and it shows the frets that we are going to be playing in as well as the strings we're gonna be playing on. So as you can see, we're gonna use our first finger in the first fret on the second string. And then we're gonna add our second finger on the fourth string in the second fret. And then we're gonna add our third finger on the fifth string in the third fret. You're going to try all that out. Make sure your fingers are right behind the frets and not too far back like this because it can be very challenging to get notes out when they're too far back. They're right in a good position to play the C chord. The right hand will play from the fifth string down. Make sure all of the strings are coming out. If you hear a muted sound, like that, like if my first string is muted, that means that I need to adjust something over here. So if my first string is muted, my first finger most likely in the C chord is probably blocking that first string. So what we wanna do is adjust accordingly, get that first finger off the first string. Now I'm getting the string out, play all five strings. So now we know how to play the chord. Let me tell you some tricks to help you get out the notes because C is a diagonal chord and because it's di a diagonal chord and our hands aren't really used to being in this position, it can be very challenging. We can get a lot of dead sounds out when we play it and it just doesn't sound as good, you know, at first. So here's some things you can do to help. Just know that C will take time no matter what. It's just a matter of getting your hands used to being in this awkward position, gaining the strength in your fingers, and making sure your fingers are out of the way of the strings that so they're not muting these strings they're not supposed to be muting. When you have your fingers in C, you know, usually as beginners we build it, you know, first finger, second finger, third finger like we did, but Trying to build it backwards and doing your third finger, second finger, first finger, since we, as beginners, we put one finger on at a time. Eventually you'll just be able to like put your fingers in C, you know, I'm in C, boom. But at, as beginners, we tend to build one finger at a time. So trying to do it backwards and starting with your third finger, then second finger, then first finger, that might help in getting, especially that first finger off that first string because the first finger can t tends to mute that first string a lot. Also, a lot of times when we put our fingers on the fretboard, our fingers, especially in these diagonal chords, can tend to like lay down and be a little lazy. We wanna make sure we push our fingers up and adjust our fingers as necessary so the very tips of our fingers are on the guitar. That will help so much in pressing down to get the note out on the string that has a finger on it and also getting your finger out of the way of the strings that are supposed to be played open or no finger. Another thing that you can do is making sure your arm is a little farther away from your body. That's something that can help. It depends on the, your arm length and you know your body, but tr if you try to do that, that tends to put our hands in a better position to press down the strings in a right way. Another thing, and which is like one of the biggest things I think that I see a lot of beginners doing, is you know when we're beginners, we tend to like lean our guitar like this and look at our strings and make sure we're in the right position, which is fine, right? We just, we're learning, we're trying to figure it out, and we're trying to get the feel of guitar. But doing that, especially with a diagonal, more challenging chord, that can make it really hard to get the notes out because now our fingers are having to stretch even farther when the guitar is leaned to the side like this. So make sure if you're gonna lean your guitar so you can see it better, that you're pushing it back to be parallel to your body just like this and 
adjusting your fingers as necessary in case they've moved, and then playing all five strings, making sure each string is coming out and then playing all five. And lastly, something that we tend to do as beginners as well is we tend to feel really awkward holding our guitar and we're holding it up weird or putting it on our legs weird or it's just so it's weird to hold so sometimes if you use a guitar strap that can help you with the feel of it and you're not having to hold it up or hold it in these weird ways you could just put the guitar strap on whether you're standing up or sitting down it can help you keep your guitar in the right position to make it easier to play those diagonal chords so try those out and let me know if it helps you with this challenging chord or other diagonal chords like it if you're really frustrated with the C, I'll show you an alternative that you can use in the meantime until you master the full chord. I do highly recommend you keep practicing the full chord because I guarantee if you keep practicing, it will happen for you. But if you need something in the meantime to just play around with and maybe play a song with or something because you have to play the C chord, you can use the full C, take that third finger off and just do the easy C but with your right hand only play from the fourth string down. It's a much thinner chord because you're not playing as many strings, but you can use it until you get that full, beautiful C out. If you want to challenge yourself a little bit more, you can put your third finger up on the sixth string and you're pinky little fourth finger on the fifth string and the, both in the third fret and then you can play all six strings for the most beautiful full C. So try those out. Let me know what you think and let me know if any of those tips worked for you. I hope it did because I know how frustrating C can be but I guarantee if you keep going at it and you keep practicing it will come out. Don't give up.